Hello and welcome to episode 20 of Your Turn to Die. So in the last episode, um, we had a little bit of technical difficulties, but I got through. I, um, I guess we kind of just like explored out. We've learned about the new discussion thing, the uh, negotiation tool. We got some tokens from, uh, Kaiji, and I almost forgot his name. Um, yeah, and, and then we uh, kind of explored and we found some new games, so that's interesting. Uh, let's talk to Mishima. Ah, you are. Miss Sir, wasn't it? Now told me about you. She said you were very brave and kind. You're a kind teacher slash smoker. <laughs> I don't know if I'll say that. You're exactly right. That's not true at all. But it's like kind of like in between these two. <laughs> um... Exactly right. It makes me blush to hear the truth laid bare. Please, tell me more. Asking for seconds in a modest tone. You're a funny girl, Miss Sarah. Still, if you have it in your heart to be uh, uh, to have a silly chat, conversation can be a wonderful thing. That's true. <laughs> Professor Mishima, er, you're an artificial intelligence, right? Yes, it seems so. I have memory telling me I am an AI. Perhaps if I didn't ha have that memory, I would think I was... Uh, I'll think like things like, I'm trapped in a screen, let me out, and so on. It was created by the kidnappers, right? Yeah, sure. There's a lot I could ask. Please, ask me anything. I will answer as much as I remember. Something you would like to ask me? Ooh, I have a lot to ask you now. Interesting. About the kidnappers. Do you know about the kidnappers? That this, uh, that is, the people who made you? Hmm, I know nothing. I have absolutely no memories of that sort. I guess the kidnappers wouldn't leave us clues. To put it another way, maybe they're free to insert and erase memories at will. Apology apologies, I could be not be of more use. So something you would like to ask me? Mm -mm. Do you know anything about the death game? Hmm, right. Come to think of it, I just accepted it. But you are all being, ma uh, being made to play this death game, yes? This is an outrageous situation. If you were only you had, had some helpful information. Myself, I know nothing. Apologies, I could be, no, be of no more use. Huh. Okay, I'll ask one more question. I, I'm really, I'm really like intrigued with this guy. Um. What do you know about the original Mishima? So about the original Professor Mishima. He's dead. He died, hasn't he? In such a situation as this, I would be... I should have protected Miss now yet. Uh, you became a victim in order to protect now. Is that true? No human wants to die. Survival instincts that kick in in desperate situations can at times result in demonic actions. I protected Miss now, but even so, I do not know if it is right to commend myself. You were a fine person. Professor Mishima, you were a fine person. I believe I just did all I could. Miss Sarah, non none of you can give up. Please live and make it home. Try my best. Alright. Runaway minecart. Hide and seek. Stay on target in the prize exchange. I kind of want to hop by the prize exchange to look at what the prizes are now. Um, yeah, I'm kind of intrigued. So, okay, so it's 50 to get... What is this again? His personal info. Interesting. I don't have enough for it, so I can't do it, but it's very interesting. And then these chips are the victim videos. Very odd. I don't know what those are going to be about. And then these clear chips, which are, I'm pretty sure, needed. So we're going to have to really think about how we're going to spend our tokens later. I don't know. Alright, anyways. Let us go back and um, hide and seek, run away minecarts, stay on target. I think the one that looks the most, that sounds the most fun to me. 
is the, because I'm not sure if we're going to actually get to be able to do all these mini games or not. So I'm just going to go to the one that looks the most fun to me, which is Quick Draw. Let's try. Participants 2, Clear Chip Award 2. Difficulty easy. On the signal, quickly select the weapon that gets displayed to attack. Defeat three dolls to win. Should I be doing harder ones to get more clear chips? I don't know. I'm just gonna go with it. Sao, Rico, or now? Um. A quick draw. I feel like Rico is gonna have the fastest reaction time out of those people. As, as Rico, your intimidation lengthens the time between the signal and the enemy's attack. Yeah. I'll partner with Rico. Nice, Sarah. I'll show you my combat abilities. Alright, let's do this. You guys ready? Mini game. Ugh, stressful part for me. <laughs> Very slow zoom in. Oh, there we go. Quick draw, begin. Let's start with me. I don't know where I'm clicking. Yeah, give him it. What? Quick draw rules. Okay, explain, please. There's three weapons. I was not expecting this. I was just expecting, like, a reaction time game. A weapon symbol will suddenly appear on the screen. Quickly select that weapon to attack. So I gotta go dupe, dupe, or the dupe. Doop doop doop. Doop doop doop. Okay. Doop. Doop. If you choose too late, your opponent will attack first. Choosing the wrong option will also get you attacked. <sighs> okay, let's try it. We only have three hearts. Touching your allies icon will give you advice and the like, so good luck. Are right, you ready? So the icons we can see are dagger, gun, and crowbar. Gun. Get shot at. Crowbar. Ah, crowbar. I'm very bad at clicking. <laughs> okay, one down. Oh no, now it gets harder. Crowbar. What? Okay. Oh, I really wish I was on a desktop right now. Being on a laptop makes it so much harder. Okay. I think talking through it is better for me. Oh, I didn't look it. I was highlighting on dagger. Okay, I'm just gonna keep on talking through it. Got it. <laughs> Please give me a heart back. Give me advice. Don't be so nervous, Sarah. You'll suffocate if you hold your breath. That's not helpful. Ah, please, please. I clicked it. Uh, is this it for me? How dare you do that, Sarah? I'm gonna crush you. Oh, but now I get to do Rico. Okay, that's helpful. And I guess Rico's help more helpful. Definitely, it was way, way easier playing as Rico. Okay, so I guess I get two health bars. One of the battle. Is, is like, am I actually dead or am I okay? Heck yes, piece of cake, Sarah. Okay, we're still good. Here are the clear chips, half and half. Obtain one clear chip. With that, this attraction's done. I gotta try some harder attractions. Negotiation. Okay, this is fun. All right. So out of these people, who do I want? So you can't move during a negotiation. There's no, there's no one to move to. So it's either, do we want Kana's chips? Do we want Nao's chips? Or do we want Rico's chips? Ah, uh, these are all good options. Honestly, 
I, okay, I did not click on Rico, alright? <laughs> Sarah, 120 tokens between you, me, and now? Oh, it's both of you. Interesting. Okay, tell me. You see, I decided to, with Rico that we trade 20 tokens each. But you know, gotta, gotta cross a shaky bridge together. For instance, we could pass 20 tokens like this. For uh, uh, me to Sarah to now. Or pass them the other way. Now to Sarah to me. Huh. Yeah, that's an interesting idea. I like that. So I have to decide who do I want to have my tokens and who do I want to get the tokens from. Kind of, basically. Do I want now to have my tokens and then Rico to get uh, to get Rico's tokens, or do I want to get now's tokens and give my tokens to Rico? I think I feel safe in giving Rico my tokens, and I want to see what now's. I want to. I want to have now's tokens. This way, we don't need. We don't need to have an extra trade partners in the future. See. So they're daring to trade that them like this instead of an equal share. Sarah, want to trade two, 20 tokens between me, you, and now? Let's do it. That's the ticket. So how are we going to trade? If we pack, pass tokens like this, or, or else like this, there's a good way to give 20 tokens, right? They're daring to trade trade them like th this instead of they're daring to trade them like this instead of equal share. Sarah, you can choose. Sarah, you can choose whichever direction you'd like. Yep. And if you don't want to trade, we'll do it ourselves. So don't worry about that. I'd like to receive tokens from the, those who can amass them. And if you can get 50 of someone's tokens, you can view their personal info, right? Hmm, what should I give to, and what should I receive from? Yeah, this is what I was thinking. Who do I want to learn about more, Rico or Now? Both of them are really, really cool and interesting characters. Same with, um, what's their name? Uh, the, the green-haired one. Why can I not think of their name? I'll think of it in a minute. Um, Kana. There we go. Kana's, Kana's too. Um, as much as I want, I respect now, I kind of want to learn about Rico. But is it safe to give now the tokens over Rico? Because now it's more emotional, emotionally bound. I think I'll take Rico's. I think that's the safest way to go. I, or, not safest, but I think that's what I want to go with. <laughs> I'll give my tokens to now. Uh, Rico, please give me yours. Got it. Don't lose them, okay? Obtain 20 Rico tokens. Well, that's it for negotiations. Oh, it hurts, man. What's wrong, Jen? Two of us went and did an attraction, but I couldn't qu quite protect him. Big sister, I, I'm okay. You know, just a scratch, woof. But you're bleeding. I can look it better, woof. It would be nice to have someone to care for the wounds. Err, uh, would you like to go to the medical office? What do you want? Scram, woof. But I wouldn't be good if, if the wound was left to fester. You got no no right to be worrying worrying over me, melon soda lady. Meow. Well, uh, medical treatment for participants is just part of my job, you see. Hmm. Can't exactly believe you that easily. Or are you willing to take a vow, Staplin? Or Staplin? I I vow that I will cause no him no harm. I won't go back on my word. Hmm. Can't trust your roof. If she, I'd be mad if she re remodeled my body in some sort of weird superhuman. You know. Hey, that sounds kind of cool. <laughs> you, you do it if you want it that much. Wow. 
I won't force it upon you, but I definitely do think you should get some training. What do you do? I'll trust you for now, Saflin. Let's try trusting Saflin. Big Sister, are you serious, bro? Yeah, if she's about to do something bad, Kaiji and I will protect you. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Please follow me this way. Well, I mean, otherwise we have no surgical care, and I'd rather have something surgical care based. This is the medical office. What's this place, bro? Does it lead outside, Wolf? Ah, uh, no. Everything you see outside is just an image projected on the glass cabinets. An image? Yes, currently we're displaying a, a soothing tropical scene. How do you like it? Huh, you're right. It does feel nice. Feels like the AC is tuned just right for it, too. <laughs> How observant. I am actually manage this room myself. It serves as a, la as a laboratory as well. Er, uh, so can we heal, heal Jin? Ah, uh, yes. The medical supplies are over here. Interesting. So Saplin's not actually doing the procedure. It's, um... Kaiji. Saplin is, look Saplin is looking my way. Please take it easy. First aid kit with medical supplies. Oh, that is nice. I mean, for as nice as this place gets here. Kaiji is tending to Jin's wound. It's lighter than I thought. Does it hurt Jin? It doesn't, but I want to have a big sis- I want to have big sis Sarah he heal it for me, you know? Well, now. Got me in a sore spot. Got me a sore spot. A wound like this should be fine, just be being washed under water and bandaged. Ah, I have a, I have a salve that speeds up the cellular repair, so if you want to use that as well, it'll more quickly. Sure, that's not dangerous. Understood. Please look at this. Saplin cut her own hand, making it bleed. And you use it like this on the bleeding area. See, it isn't dangerous, is it? Proving it with your own body, huh? I got it. <laughs> Jin and Kaiji are taking a respect. Mr. Policeman, Mr. Policeman, what's up? Is it okay to have Big Sister uh, uh, to give Big Sister this? Hmm? No. Better not give her that. I wonder what they're talking about. Oh, did he collect Joe's band? Sarah, don't listen in. Um, do you have something for me? Yeah, it's nothing more. Hmm? It's pretty suspicious. <sighs> Pretend I didn't see. Because I know what it is. And I don't want to increase my hallucination level. I don't know what he hid from me, but I'll pretend I didn't see anything. It's nothing, now. Don't worry about it, Woof. Got it. I'll trust you, Jen. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've treated Jin, so let's leave. Right. If you get hurt, please come back again. Thank you. Thank you. We'll make use of it. There's no reason to thank you, Mal. It's because of these guys were getting hurt, Woof. Apologies. Let's go, you two. Well, I don't know if it's per se for them. Because maybe they're forced into this. We don't know that. We left the medical office behind. Day one. Night. Alright. So it seems like every time we do a, a game, it advances the time. Hmm. Rico's glancing at me to call, uh, glancing at me to call me over. I wonder what it is. What's up, Rico? Sarah, can you come with me for a sec? What is it? I found a weird place. I wanted to show you before telling everybody. A weird place? Come on, follow me. Interesting. What is this? Ominous. What is this place? Told you. Weird. Yeah? Do we need 200 points to get past it? Is that why it says 200? The most suspicious part is the stairs. There's a vending machine at the top. Oh, it's a vending machine, not a door. I thought it was a door. <laughs> vending machine. It costs 200 things to work. A suspicious vending machine sits at the top of the stairs. There aren't any items displayed inside. 
No price is shown either. Huh, power zone. A vending machine with no clear clear merger prizes. The the hex it's deal, you think? The bill acceptor slot is plugged in. But it looks like you can't put in coins. Ah. Uh, like tokens? Or oh, you can put in coins. What should we do? Put in some tokens? Uh, hold on a second. I don't know if we should do that. It's a big risk. It's 200 tokens. That's literally everything. Let's not. It might be a trap. Just touching it could be bad. Sure, but like, before the others come here and get all curious. D don't do it, Rico. In the end, in the end, somebody's gonna investigate it. Rico swiftly inserted a token. Huh? Nothing's happening. Uh, maybe one token isn't enough? Mm. Saying there's this number above it, maybe. You have to insert 200 tokens? Yeah, that's what I was getting at. Huh? Who's gonna earn that many? They better get some, uh, one god darn tasty soda. Maybe there's no need to worry about it. Got a point. 200 is just unreasonable. No problem ignoring it then. Well, ain't that a relief. Let's ditch this creepy place. Oh, Rico. Hmm? I took the coin she inserted for, uh, from the return slot and gave it back to Rico. Hey, thanks. Let's get a move on, Sarah. Right. Maybe we can come back if we solve the mystery. Besides, it's about time I do an attraction. Interesting. I doubt there's anything to click on here. Very odd. How much more time do I have for this video? Uh, I still have like eight minutes. I have a while. All right. How strange. It's even night outside these windows. That one made, made me hungry. Now, should I ask for stuffed peppers? Stuffed peppers? I hate peppers, man. Great. Um. See, I've got a lot of places to go to because now I have the medical office, long stairs, your bedroom, monitor, relaxation, and room corridor. I kind of want to stop by my bedroom now. It's nighttime. See if there's anything interesting. I doubt we can stick through night. Yeah, we gotta gotta do some sort of task. Well, I guess we should explore, see what everyone's doing. There's wood, fra there's wood fragments here too. I wonder if the weapon Sal got hit with was, ca uh, was taken from here. Hey, can we rest a little? We'll hardly get any exploring done if we keep resting so much. Interesting. Tara's still here? It's always comp it's, it's complicated as a maze. Interesting, there's arm wrestling there too, which is new. Um, let's go to the relaxation room. I just kind of want to see where everyone's at. Even with these handcuffs, chains, and iron bell is such a nuisance. It's stressful. Yeah, he's always wearing those. Let's tear them off. Let's tear them off. I tried, but it was of no use. So he did try. Interesting. He even like goes to nighttime during nighttime in the thick nighttime. <laughs> I don't know why I said nighttime so many times. Um, lobby. Alright, and then finally the monitor room. Rico? Seems like the floor still got plenty of hidden areas. Let's see. Is there something you want to ask me? Uh, not right now. I'll ask like next episode maybe. Alright, I think I want to do one more game before we end off the episode. What should we do? Runaway minecart, stay on target, hide and seek. Runaway minecart sounds pretty fun. How hard is hide and seek? Uh, cancel. I want to see like difficulty ratings. I don't know if I can do the harder ones. No, I'm gonna save here. And then I'm gonna see. Let's try how hard is Runaway Market. 
Uh, it's also the regular difficulty. Is there any harder ones? They give you more? Clear chip reward is high. Difficulty hard. Stay within the bounds of the areas protected by your opponents. Defeat three dolls to win. I don't know if I'm ready to try something really hard. You know, I'm gonna do Runaway Marker. It sounds like fun. It's a normal reward one. Get past the obstacles in, uh, that get in the way of the minecart that reach the goal, uh, and reach the goal within the time limit. If I ever do 100% run, I can do the, like the harder ones only, but with this one, I think I'll just have fun with it. Kutaro, Sao, or Jin for minecart. Let's see what they give me. Kitaro Bergerberg. As Kitaro, your characteristic uh, might greatly increase it. Uh, your characteristic might greatly increases your attack power. I know, sir. If you part of me, I'll trade 10 me tokens while we're at it. <laughs> Was I just bribed? <laughs> Leave it to me. I'll prove to you, to you that I ain't all muscle. Alright, let's see. Very laggy transition. Okay, we're in. Runaway Minecraft begin. How do we play? Okay, so it looks like we got a health meter and a time meter. We'll get through this together. Let's do it. I'll break, break through by force. Minecraft, uh, Runaway Minecraft rules. Ride in the minecart towards the goal. Deal with the obstacles that appear on the way and reach the goal within the time limit. Wooden wall, rapidly touch to destroy. Okay, so we gotta remember these. Rapidly touch the wooden wall to destroy. Mash on the screws to destroy. So much mashing. No, on laptop mashing is hard. Bats. Touch the danger sign to evade. Got it. Speed up. Touch the speed symbol to accelerate. Okay, let's try. Touching your allies icon will give you advice and likes, so good luck. Done. Mashing. Okay, I understand now. All right, interesting. Speed. Speed is key. Oh, we're behind the time. Oh, it's so hard to mash. Okay. Come on, I need a speed boost. Come on, I need a speed boost. Speed boost, please. I'm not gonna make it. Come on, speed boost. Oh, speed boost, please. Come on, please give me a speed boost right now. Thank you. Is that enough? Oh, it's so close. Come on. We're so close. Come on, another bat, another bat. No, not this. Please, please. No, we're so close. Tony, what's happening? <laughs> Dang it. Look at that. My, my thing ran out by the time that was there. Dang it. Alright. We'll continue this next episode. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Next episode, we'll start off right with that game. I think I do want to try the harder games. It is kind of fun to like have some a little bit of a harder struggle with these ones. Trying to go through it a few times. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Next episode we'll get our revenge and hopefully not get crushed by a boulder. So, um, <laughs> I'll see you guys around. Uh, hope, I hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, see you around. Bye-bye.